All right, this is a video showing how to use a GM HEI ignition module for a CDI for your Kawasaki Bayou. Now you'll see the red, I mean, yeah, the yellow with red stripe, that's your power, and your green with your uh, white stripe is ground, and they go on that end. Make sure you use a big aluminum plate as a heat sink to help keep it cool and it's also going to ground it okay now the blue and the black wire are on the left side of the module those are for your um, coil pickup um, okay so they go on the left power and ground now search the internet and everybody shows it that they've got these on their bikes and they run but no one shows how to really hook it up okay now th this is a ground, you don't need this ground here, the black with the yellow stripe, but I just kind of stick it underneath this uh, aluminum plate, just kind of give it some more ground, just in case, but you really don't need that fifth wire, okay? Uh, the module, you can get the CDI box, the factory one on Amazon for $129, but uh, they do go out about every year and a half, and so I keep this one on here, so if it goes off or goes out, then I can just hook this up as emergency backup and it works. But you don't have any advance on your idle. Um, so once it starts, it'll die if you don't know how to do the throttle. So let me show you how to do that. Here we go. All right, first turn the ignition on. You're gonna start it up. Now, hear how low it idles? If you try to punch the throttle too much, hear what it does? It throws the timings off, okay? So what you do is hit the starter. Let it idle for a little bit. And then you, you just gotta kinda lightly tap the throttle. Oh, didn't take. You'll know when it takes. Oh. <laughs> Once the, once the idle goes up, uh, see? Ah, damn it, now it ain't gonna work. Ah, uh, usually you just kind of tap it. Let me put the seat cover back on and sit down on it, okay? Hang on a second. <coughs> All right. All right. Let me sit down on it. All right. So, you can hear it starts and runs, but you have to advance your timing to accelerate. So, what you do is turn your idle up on your carburetor just a little bit. Damn it. There it goes. I got it. Okay. You only got to do that after you first start it. Now here my idle. It's a little high. Now it will spit and sputter a little bit at idle here. You can kind of hear that spit and sputter a little bit. It doesn't do that with the factory CDI, but it's just because this this module, HEI ignition module, can't do the advanced curve. See? So you just gotta leave it running. It, you, it makes it really hard to start, but you can use it as a backup system and get home. So, by the way, this is a 1986 um, Kawasaki Bayou. Um, She's an old machine, it was a barn find, but she's a good machine. I, I really like her. Shaft drive, reverse, split differential. Uh, got a snowmobile Polaris exhaust tip, two stroke on there. But uh, that's my bike. And I just wanted to share this video with y'all because no one's really showed where the wires go. They just show it on there. So enjoy the video. And I hope it saves you a lot of money.
Peace out. Share and like my video.